A partial CNMI government shutdown was averted. Thousands of government employees were able to report back to work Monday after the legislature reached a compromise over the budget, which Governor Ralph Torres signed over the weekend. It's not so much of what you guys voted on. That was my issue. My issue was, why did the House majority took this long to act on it and then jeopardize every government employee here? That was my biggest issue. Most of the governor's vetoes were related to reporting requirements, which he described as redundant. Torres gathered his allies and Republicans running for office to join him in a signing ceremony on Saturday. There are other um, portions of, the, sen of uh, the Senate version and there are other portions of the House version that was collapsed in to come up with a, a, a balanced budget. Um, we did um, compromise some um, parts of the, the, the budget. But we are able to uh, locate funding and make it available for our retirees as well as the Medicaid matching of 7.2 million in addition to the 5 million in our current fiscal year to match Medicaid. Amid the celebration, noticeably absent were Lieutenant Governor Arnold Palacios, who is running against Torres, and members of House leadership. Actually, I didn't invite either one of them. Uh, for one, um, there's no reason to invite someone that doesn't believe in the leadership. Tomas Maglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.